Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and today Apple released iOS 11.3 Beta 6 to developers. It's not currently out for public beta testers while I'm filming this, but it could be by the time you're watching this. If it's not, it's usually later in the day or the following day. This came in at 75.7 megabytes on my iPhone 10, and then on my iPhone 7 Plus, it came in at 58.6 megabytes. So based on what phone you have, it may vary a little bit, but let's take a look at the build number. The build number is 15E5216A, and this particular build, we're not seeing anything new whatsoever. We are seeing that it's a little bit smoother. Some people are reporting, especially on older devices, uh, 7 plus and earlier, that it's much smoother. So maybe transitions, opening apps, going into things like the App Store. I wasn't able to find anything going into the different store and different apps. There wasn't really anything that's slow. Apps seem to lose to run really quickly and load quickly. And maybe we'll see a final next week. Maybe the gold master will be out next week at some point. And Apple announced an event today. that will be a couple Tuesdays from now. The actual event is called let's take a field trip. It's for education and it's for, or it's taking place at lane tech college prep high school in Chicago, Illinois. So March 27th, 2018 at 10 AM. If you received one of these invites, which I didn't, but some members of the press did, and we'll expect some new iPads. I think from that, maybe some other announcements, but usually education related issues with that or different features and maybe something coming to iOS. There's no sign of AirPlay 2 on this, nothing like that. And I did run a Geekbench just to see how we're, how we're doing. So let's take a look at that. We came in with a score at 4,213 for single core and 10,199 for multi-core. If we take a look at the history here, you'll see that we're right in line with what we've had all along. So that means it's basically the same. We're not going to see any great improvements, but we're not going to see any big slowdowns either. So everything seems to be nice and fast and I'll keep you updated with that. Now, as far as battery life goes, uh, that's going to take a few days to know that for sure. So I'll be sending a poll out on Twitter in a couple days and on YouTube to see how it's going for you on older devices. I'll be testing it on this and my seven plus. I do still have the eight and eight plus around, but that's, that's generally running the stable version that's out to the public just so I have some reference to go by and some devices to switch back and forth when I'm doing these tests. So battery life, I'll, I'll do a follow up with that. And again, send those polls out. If you'd like to get your hands on the wallpaper, I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks to Cameron and Condor for sending that along. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like, as always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.